Time now for sports with Scott Breen. That's right. Welcome to Championship Weekend, everybody. Seniors football guys now own 26 straight wins and back-to-back -back state AA championships. Bronx hosting Helena High in tonight's title game. Pick it up with senior star Gabe Sulser back playing after sitting last week with a groin injury, and here he is on the opening drive. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Catches it, and he's down inside the one. This is the opening drive of the game. Next play, pay him off, and they do as he tiptoes into the end zone for a 7-0 senior lead, just like that, not even a minute in. Here they come again, Bronx in the red zone. Blake Allred runs it in. 14-0 senior on top. Second quarter now, Helena in the red zone with a fourth and goal. Kyle Tabbert to get outside. Stopped by Ben Askelson and a host of other Bronx who shut him down. And now senior driving. Askelson floats one over the middle, but that's picked off by Zach Spiroff, who returns it into senior territory. Bronx plagued by five turnovers tonight, but they're so good it didn't matter. Bengals cash it in. Caleb Winterburn on the money to Zach Huth. Two-point conversion failed. Helena was within 14-6. Under a minute left in the half. Bengals driving again. Winterburn fires a dart to Tabbert, who runs it down to the 15. Now, a penalty would back Helena up, but it didn't matter. Winterburn, Tabbert, touchdown. Helena within 14-12 at halftime. Let's go to the third quarter. Bengals now driving for the lead. Winterburn throws it up. Askelson with a diving interception. He was all over on both sides of the football tonight. Senior didn't score, but the next Bronx possession, Askelson from five yards. Bronx up 21-12. Fourth quarter now, and here comes Helena again. These guys don't go down easily, but watch Gabe Solcer's diving interception in the end zone. How nice was that? Fast forward, just over six minutes left in the game. Now Bengals with another fourth and goal, but the pass batted down by Noah Christofferson at the five-yard line. Bronx run out the clock. There's the celebration as they win back-to-back -back titles, celebrating not one, but two perfect seasons. And Gabe Solcer not about to miss this one with an injury. I received a lot of uh, therapy all week, and I received some really good help from our trainers and some physical therapists, and that was awesome. And I was just happy to get, get out here with the guys one last time. You know, these guys have worked so hard. This whole team has worked so hard for this, and it's definitely awesome. It's a storybook ending. I know in the streak, you guys have had so many games where you've won by 30, 40 points. Does it feel even a little bit more fun to have to grind one down and know that you guys can win the tough ones too? Yeah, yeah, you know, that's awesome. This team, they battled all year. You know, we knew from the beginning that uh, it was going to be a tough year. We knew we were going to have to grind out some games like that, and uh, that makes it the more fun, I think. So these guys are awesome. They never really get down when we get in those tight situations, and I'm so, just so, so proud to be a part of this team and be a part of this program. you got to come up big in the right time. So as Morocco always says, rule 63, there's three rules, and you got to play, play all your downs for six seconds, and that's what we did tonight, so it was a good win. You know, actually, our, our freshman season, we were about 1-9. So I have my doubts, but you know, you stick through it, you go through the process, you never quit, you keep grinding with your brothers, you know, we built a bond, we worked hard every off season, every day, and I mean, hard work can get you here, and it did.